I hated my job, I was completely lost. I was working 70 hours in a week. I was quitter, I always started something and never finish it. What follow next is the narrative on how in just a few months I taught myself coding, a skill that eventually landed me a job that I really like. I achieved this without any computer science degree and I did not attend to any bootcamp or I didn't even have a mentor. Okay, let's stick around because I will explain you how I was able to do it and how much I got paid in my first job. I originally grew up in Czech Republic in a small, tiny country in Europe. I was doing any kinds of jobs, sales jobs, lifeguards. I opened a pressure washer company, which I closed the same day. And when I moved to the UK, I worked in a hospitality sector and then I moved to a private lending company. And to be honest, I did not really like any of these jobs. I was at that time 28 years old and I didn't have a clue what am I gonna do. I didn't have a career and I didn't have any business plan. I felt this pressure that I wanted to start a family or move to another country. And I needed something stable that pays bills and I can work remotely from anywhere I want. And plus, I will enjoy it as well. I knew that the tech industry was a career that people make quite a lot of money. Now it's around 150. Also, I listen to lots of uh, business podcasts like First Million, where the majority of wealthy people actually created a software company and then sold it. I was really excited because I can learn valuable skills that employer will pay me a good amount of money. I can work from anywhere I want and I can create a software company anytime I learn the skill. Originally, I jumped on YouTube and search how to become a developer. And then I landed on this website called Free Code Academy. I started to learn HTML, CSS, and then I hopped into the JavaScript, which is the first programming language that I actually learned. That time I chose it because it was just next to the responsive web design. This part took me quite a longer. I, then I built this website with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. I hosted it on Netlify where you can host websites for free so you can showcase your websites to a potential employer. Maybe you are wondering how I was able to study and work 60, 70 hours in a week. You're right, I quit. I quit my job when I was 100% sure I want to pursue this career. My morning looked like this and my afternoon and evenings looked like this. I went through so many tutorials, but at the end, when I opened a code editor, I could only write this kind of code. I quickly realized I don't really know how to learn and I was doing it completely wrong. Watching tutorials is great, but at the end, you just copy what other people built. And you're writing code without actually thinking of solving problem because the person solve it for you. So the only thing you will learn is how to type the code. So I decided I need to build a project on my own without watching any tutorial. First, I didn't really know what kind of projects I want to build. So I went back to the Free Code Academy and I finished the list of projects for the front end developer, which I skipped before. It was challenging in the beginning because I didn't know what am I doing, but I started for the first time solved a problem. I had something that I didn't know how to do and I had to find a solution. So that project taught me how to solve problems on my own. And then this happened. I found this website that boosts my learning exponentially. The way how the course is structured, it really helped me to understand and start thinking about the problem. How they operate, they have a video learning, but they combine it with the tests in the middle. So you might watch two minutes video, maybe five minutes video, then you have got test on the topic, or maybe you can solve some problems in the middle and then you carry on. For me, personally, I like it because I memorize way more than just watching a tutorial the whole time. And I'm really thankful for this website. I'll leave the link in the below if you want to check it out. After that, I learned React and I was able to create a couple of more websites using APIs and headless CMS. I also set up all my projects with GitHub, which is a version control application. I learned how to create the branches and how to work on different parts of the application and then merge it to the main branch. It's a good practice because if you look at companies' job postings, all of them require you to know GitHub. 
and it's part of the job to collaborate with other developers. I was really proud of my projects that I built, but it's been already six months. It was a time when I had to find a job. I had decent skills with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap and React. So I first defined which kind of job I want to be looking for. Then I created my resume and I started to apply for jobs in London. I sent my applications to over 100 companies and I was shocked. I was rejected by all of them because I didn't have a commercial experience. So I started to apply for jobs outside of the big city where the competition is quite high. I look at the radius of the whole England. I thought there must be someone who can give me a chance without a commercial experience. And there was. I had two interviews and I accepted the one that was closest, 200 kilometers away. I pack my stuff and I give it a shot. Also, I have got a video on how I changed my resume, which landed me a job. I will just put it somewhere up here. That job was for a web developer using PHP and WordPress. And to be honest, I didn't have experience on how to use PHP or how to build a custom WordPress theme with PHP at all. But that's how development job is. Most of the time, you won't have an idea and you will learn at the job. So about the salary. My first official salary as a developer, bear in mind it is in the UK, not in the US. And I'm not sure if you know, in the UK, the salaries are way, way lower than in the US. For instance, in the US, someone who doesn't have experience and then is his first job as a developer can earn the same amount of money as someone in the UK with a senior position. Anyway, my paycheck was whopping 22,000 pounds, which is equivalent to around 28,000 US dollars. I know that not everybody can move 200 kilometers away or get paid this amount of money and survive. I was able to do it because I didn't have a kids and I didn't own any house. Your situation might be completely different, but with a persistence, I'm pretty sure you will eventually get there. I've been working as a developer for over two years and I can honestly say that as a developer, you will never stop learning and it's a beautiful career that you can see yourself progressing over time.